When you're craving a creative outlet but aren't sure where to begin, take out your sketchbook and try a mini meditation, also known as a grid painting. I play with these all the time because they're relaxing and can unlock my intuitive flow. They become pretty addictive because they're so nourishing to the creative soul. You can find the supply list below this video to get started and see what I'm using. I'm only using black and white today. So subscribe to this channel to see the next video where I do more grid paintings, but start to add color. See you then. To start your grid painting, you're gonna just take a pencil and sketch out nine to 12 squares. I believe I do 12 on here. You can be precise and use a ruler or a post-it as a template. Since this is my sketchbook and it's just for fun, I just sketch them in because I end up painting outside of the lines anyway, which is totally okay. You can paint and color outside the lines here. Something I do with almost everything, every canvas, every painting, every sketchbook exercise is this scribbling with a pencil. It's called activating the canvas and it just e takes away the white space of a blank page so you can get started and not be worried about what it's going to look like. One of my favorite supplies is acrylic ink and so I am adding water to some of my squares because when you add acrylic ink to water it spreads and that just in itself is like a little meditative exercise because it's really cool the way it flows it, nothing else really flows like acrylic ink does. It's just so pigmented that it, see that and how it spreads. It's so cool. You can even draw with the dropper. I was running out of ink, um, so I only got to do the top ones or I would have had some more scribbles on there. You can draw little sketchy flowers with the ink. It's, it's a lot of fun to play around with. And then you can take your brush, add some more water and start spreading it around and you get all of these different shades of gray. You can take some of the wet ink from your other squares and add it to squares that don't have anything on it yet. And just play and see um, how dark you like your squares, how light you like your squares, if you like both light and dark. It's really all up to you. And I am using a brush here, but you could be using uh, like the scraper that I have to the left. I don't think I used it here but I could have. Um, you can use sticks. You can really use any kind of mark making tools you have. I like to use bubble wrap and paper towel rolls, all kinds of things to stamp different shapes on. Charcoal is another one of my favorite things and I use it not just for black and white but I put marks of charcoal in my colorful paintings too. I just love the bold line you can get and it's so textured and I love texture in my work. So I have black paint on my palette as well and I just wanted to see what I could do with that on top of the ink. And so I grabbed a smaller brush and you can see I'm just making different marks. You can find out if you like shapes you can see how it blended into the acrylic ink puddle there that was really fun you can decide if you want to try uh, brushing circles or big blocks of color this is all experiment it's supposed to be fun you can do it without even thinking about it just start making marks on the page and it's incredible what will come out of you which you may not even realize This is one of the best ways to figure out what your unique marks are. And so some of mine, as you can see here, are um, bigger, bigger marks of color like dashes. And here come the dots. I do a lot of dots, swirly lines and scribbles. And I didn't know that these were my marks when I first started. It was just what I discovered after I started playing in a sketchbook. and being okay with making bad art. That's definitely part of the battle when you begin to create. 
you have to be okay with making bad art. And when you have a sketchbook, it's a really amazing place to do it because it's just for you. You don't have to share your sketchbook with anyone. You don't have to show another soul what you have put in that sketchbook. So go crazy, have fun, and just see what you love to do and keep following that. So these circles are made with a Pigma Micron pen and they are a lot of fun for really detailed thin lines. Uh, I make dots with those a lot and stripes. And I just like to play around and see if I like any different kinds of line work. So I don't usually do straight, many straight lines in my work, but I do kind of like how they are next to the textured ink mark. And so that could end up being in a painting of mine in the future at some point. You just never know how your sketchbook play is going to inform your other creative um, projects. So these are getting pretty full, but I know that I like contrast, and so I'm going to put more dark paint, the dark black paint on without watering it down, because I like to have those uh, different value contrasts. It makes it interesting to me, but maybe you don't. Maybe you really like uh, the gray shades just all in the middle. It's all up to you. This is a jelly roll pen. It's uh, in white, so that's kind of fun to go over some of the darker places just to add different details and see, again, if you like polka dots like I do, or if you like adding stripes or different patterns, you can look at your clothing and see different line patterns and just put it on your sketchbook and see if that's something that you would like to try. And I think that's about it. Uh, you can you get to decide when they're done as well. <laughs> you kind of can just keep playing with them or start a new page. You um, you get to decide when it's done and when you're done playing. I love doing these because they can be done pretty quickly, like under ten minutes. So it's nice to be able to have a creative practice or creative ideas to do in the sketchbook when I'm. Sometimes when I'm not feeling very creative, I know I can go do these and it will spark something, <laughs> even if I don't use it that day. Thanks for joining me today. I'm all about helping you grow your own creative practice full of peace, intention, and curious exploration. Find out more when you visit jenfletcherart.com. I'll see you soon.